All right, so first thing, ladies and gentlemen, um, to solve this problem, we're going to use the law of sines. So the main important thing I want to look at is just kind of assess, first of all, what I'm given. I'm given two angles. I'm given the angle for B, or the measure of angle B, the measure of angle C, and also the sine of C. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out the law of sines because I'm still learning it, and I want to make sure that I'm going to have it you know, all written out correctly. So line sine states A over sine of A equals the length B over the sine of angle B equals the length C over the sine of angle C. So that's what the law of sine states. And it's really going to help when you're doing your homework just to write it out because then you won't have to, you know, you'll start getting, okay, you won't forget it. So now I need to look at what is the, what is all the information I know? I know what the angle of sine or angle of B is, right? So I'll add in that information. And yeah. degrees. I know what the angle of C is, which is 135. And I know the side length of C, which is 45. But you don't know A. I do not know anything of A right now, right? Well, guys, when we solve proportions, we always had, remember, a proportion is one ratio equal to another ratio, right? So we don't need to worry about A right now. So let's just kind of erase it right now. And let's just worry about finding the value of length of B, all right? So one of the easy ways that a lot of students remember how to solve a proportion was to cross multiply, right? So that's all you're gonna do, just do your old cross multiply. Yeah, yes, I remember this. B times sine of 135 is equal to 45 times sine of 10 degrees, right? B times this, and then sine times that, right? Didn't 135 degrees degree. Huh? 135 degrees. Yeah, 135 is in degrees as well. So now, to solve for my angle B, or solve for my side B, I'm gonna divide by sine of 135, Okay. Now, I can't evaluate these. I know these are not going to be angles that I know of on my uh, unit circle, at least my sine of 10. So what I'll simply do is I'm just going to do uh, plug them in. So B equals, and listen how I type this in my calculator, 45 times the sine of 10 degrees. Make sure you end your parentheses and then divide it by sine of 135. And my answer is going to be 11.05. For these problems, I'd like you, um, unless otherwise noted, to round to you the 100. So I have 11.05. Well, now we know what B is, right? Yes, sir. So that's 11.05. So now I need to figure out what A is, all right? So we do need to go back to a little bit of our geometry sense. You could have done this at the beginning, but I like to kind of leave it at the end. Everybody understands this process, right? But now I need to figure out, well, how can I figure out what A is? Well, remember the triangle um, angle there where it says that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I can state that angle A is equal to 180 minus 135 minus 10. Yeah. Right? Yes. So A equals 35 degrees. Correct? Remember, all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So you could say A plus 135 plus 10 equals 180. Subtract these two on the other side, and you get this formula. Um, so now I can set up, I can say A over sine of 35 degrees equals one of the ratios. You could say it equals B over sine of B, or you could say it equals C over sine of C. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Um, I think it's a safer pick always to pick the one that's given, just in case you made some small calculation error, you know, and you don't have time to recheck it. It's always just helpful just to reuse that one rather than your own calculations. So I would pick 45 over sine of 135. But like I said, if you wanted to use B over B with your new calculated side, that's fine too. So again, you just cross multiply. Now is it okay if I just do my math a little bit quicker rather than showing you each yes. one? So this is going to give me um, A equals 
45 sine of 35 divided by sine of 135. I'm just doing the exact same math here. I'm just kind of doing it one step to kind of move the video along. Is that okay? Everybody follows me? So then here, I just go ahead and just do 45 times sine of one of sine of 35. Close my parentheses. Divided by sine of 135. And I get 36.5. Not even not even mm -hmm. 36.5 is zero equals um, 35 degrees. Okay, then the last thing I want to do is just look at my triangle and say, does there all those side lengths and angles make sense? Again, check. Does this add up to 180? Yes. Do these side lengths seem like they're reasonable? I don't have one like that's like 8,000 or like 0.3, right? They exactly. seem about reasonable, right? <laughs> so therefore, I mean, you can go back and check our work, but this seems like reasonable, and I've solved just by two minutes. And that's it. That's all I have to do for the last time. Okay? You don't have to remember any of the angles. You do? Not today. <laughs> <laughs>